So, haven't checked in a little while, but we're doing the flooring right now and we're just making some bracing across the stringers. So we're getting there with the floor. This piece took a while though. Put us some angles, obviously trying to get it level from the stringer up to it, which is a bit of a bitch. And uh, yeah, these guys are tacked in, welded in. Same with this guy. Just about to start on throwing in the wiring harness and plug in everything. That's pretty much what it looks like. You can throw the fuel tank in over there and then start going at it. All right, got a few pieces here, a few wires, and it's been probably a month since I took them out, so we'll see how this goes back together. All right, so just making a bracket now to carry uh, the stock fuse box. And this, I actually don't really know what this is. Some sort of heat sink voltage regulator maybe. Side by side, just like that. And it's gonna go, I think, Pretty much got everything where I want it to be. These are coming from the starter, go straight to the main battery, which we're putting in a 12 volt car battery. And then, yeah, this is where we decided to mount the stock fuse box. Ran these wires up. Next thing is for me to splice the harness that goes to the cluster. So I'm just starting splicing the main harness, like the stock c one. And uh, yeah, got the table, some zap straps, lay out the wire, pull it, and then I'm um, heat shrinking and these crimps. And pretty much I just need to make it so it can go from back here all the way along underneath the gunnel up to the helm. And now I'm onto like the main thing. This goes into the, the cluster, the dash. And there's one, I guess, important thing that you gotta make sure you do is this uh, can wire, it's like a networking wire and it's twisted because it sends a signal. So just when you re-splice it, when I splice it, I need to make sure that I got the proper twist per inch all the way up front. And then the rest of it's pretty straightforward. Just splice these colors, match them up. I think I got the twist right. We got the stock sea do harness all spliced up. Just gonna throw it in the looming and zap strap it up in the boat and run it up to the front. Oh, I just finished running up the looming, up under the gunnel, all the way to the front. You're great. Harness is done, but uh, this is the next mission. This is all the switches and controls for all the other stuff, but. I'm gonna throw the wrap on the slider. Just finished the exhaust again. Before we had it going straight out the back, but we I didn't think about hydro locking. And so I just threw in a U-bend, which is super easy, didn't have to weld anything. And then also tied in the k and air filter. That'll sit a bit higher like that. Pretty much all dialed in back here. So onto the floor and seats and put the windows in and should be good to go for the first rip soon. So I just welded in a couple more tabs to pick up uh, the plywood where it's landing, where it's kind of floating over the stringers. One here and uh, this guy here. And we're just about to start cutting the plywood. I just tied in the last of the TIG welding. So I think just the cluster holder up front, there's a bitch down here. And my dad just finished off the rest of the flooring that we were working on this morning. Some notch cutting and all angles. But uh, yeah, gonna contact cement and duradec it. And then the floor is done, the welding up front is done. And she's pretty much good to go. Just wrapping the plywood flooring. Two inch over 
Finishing touches on the floor. All right, so it looks like a bit of a mess in here. We got tools everywhere, wire everywhere. But I'm almost done. I'm working from the back, so I started the build and the blower, and then I'm wrapping around the OEM fuse box, and I've made it down into where I'm putting this uh, relay and fuse box holder. And then once I get this tied in, I can go up, strap it all forward, and then it's just easy tying in switches. We're getting close. So I'm just into the dash, throwing in some switches. Here we got a wiper, just a two-way. This is a bilge for a manual, auto, off obviously. So that's a three-way going there. And then this guy's getting one of these guys. That's gonna be the kill switch, on and off. And here's the rest of the switches for a, let's go blower. Nav, spotlight, geez, what's the last one? Heater. So those guys, put them a bit further away. All right, so I'm wrapping up for today. Pretty much got almost everything. For the switching, at least. You got my relay box here. It's finally got all the power and uh, all the jumpers for whatever, the switching and stuff, which goes up into the darkness, which goes all the way up front. And uh, yeah, I'm just about to throw this in and hook up a couple more negatives to the, or grounds, negatives, whatever, to the battery, and then two positives, and we're all good. This is the, the main kill switch power. So uh, yeah, she's close. So we just finished all the, all the wiring. This box here, relays. Just got a bunch of 30s in it right now, just for a quick test. But uh, yeah, it's ready to go. First time turning the power on. As it should, nothing happened. It's going to smoke. Oh. Oh, we do have power. Power going oh. to our, uh... The light is on. The light was supposed to be off on that one. <laughs> Unless you press the button. So we got everything kind of almost dialed in now. Got the seats in, which are some razor seats. And then we built these kind of little box pedestals. Some storage underneath. And yeah, they look good. Super comfy. And got the steering wheels in, gate control, trim. Just don't have the cluster in right now. The wiper up here. This is pretty crucial for this boat at least. Peltor headset, uh, yeah, so. We can talk to each other. Don't blow our eardrums. And then also got all the hydro turf on. A little blue black pattern. And yeah, the engine bay is all tied in. A little bucket over top of the air filter now. Protect it from the water, catch can, everything. Stoked on that, just missing the battery right now. Got the pump on, built a ride plate slash pump protector. Also got this like rubber edge kind of gasket so you don't cut yourself when you're grabbing stuff. And yeah, we kind of custom built this trailer. Got some side pieces to make loading easier in the river. Got some auto tires and then little beaver tails at the back. The skids, easy loading. And then kind of a must have is the cradle at the front. Yeah, makes it way easier to float the boat when you got a little V to drive it into. And that's about that. You know, the Lexon all installed, looks good. And yeah, it's pretty spacious in this boat. Yeah. Here it is, the four seats. So yeah, you know, we got the finger throttle going on, on the steering wheel. Comes out the center of the helm here. 
And then since this ski was fly by wire, you have to build this kind of little box here and actuate the electronic finger throttle with your mechanical. As you can see. Over this way. And yeah, that's it for the finger throttle. Got the two-seater or the four-seater engine bay coverall done up with HydroTurf. A little custom work on the bottom, make it sit nice on the floor. Handle, open her up. And then some kill mat, which doesn't really do much except add weight that I found. Yeah, I thought they would make it a bit quieter, but that's definitely not the case. And yeah, super sturdy. She's looking good, all dialed in. I'll do another video of a full walkthrough and, you know, really show you what's going on.